October 13th, KB Security, Security Guard Office. It's quite the uh, sci-fi looking thing, especially because it looks like the rooms are 8-bit. Like on the, on the right, they look like proper rooms in the game, but on the left, it looks like they're 8-bit or maybe 16-bit rooms. Definitely old school, like, uh, NES or SNES games, that sort of era, I'd say. Very, 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 very much looks like Pokemon, is the best way of putting it. Wow. This is really something else. The security guard office, it sure doesn't feel very secure. Keep your security guard. Uh-oh, I just remembered Larry might be... Hey, Nick, what's up? Ah, oh, so he is, yeah. Yo, how's it hanging, dude? And you got my sweet little Maya with you, too. Hi, Larry. Here I was, working my fingers to the bone. And in walks an angel. Got no problem with a daytime date. It's all good. No, that's not what we're here for. We're investigating the bullet murder case. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? You're so hopelessly clueless. Well, if it's about the murder case, boy, have I got some good info for you. Really? What is it? Hmm, well, I don't mind sharing with my sweet little Maya. But Nick here is a different story. Larry, I thought you two were old school buddies. That was then, and this is now. Alright, well, I want to examine the room first. It's like, up here, like, like these, it's just like, I have got really old looking screens for games. Maybe he's playing a game, for all I know. Something is written on this poster in fine print. The Guard's Five Commandments. Now, this sounds serious. Let's see what it says. Number one, obey thy superior. Number two, respect thy superior. Number three, smile at thy superior. Number four, salute thy superior. Number five, buy donuts from thy superior upon command. It's signed Wendy Oldback, head supervisor. Oh... God. She's one tough old bird, let me tell you. Cross her and you come face to face with her real, genuine ray gun. Yeah, sounds scary, alright? Well, fortunately, she's on vacation. Oh, God. That's why I'm so relaxed right now. Good. Hey, Larry. That's your jacket, isn't it? That's right. Um, did you know you hung it right on top of some kind of lever? Yeah, sure. I was told to never ever touch that lever. She scowled and huffed at me. Something terrible will happen if you do. Got it, Greenhorn. Pull it. Pull it now. So why hang your jacket on such an important lever? Because it got me curious. The jacket's weight pulls the lever down. That's what they call an accident. Doesn't the suspense just kill you? Don't you want to know what'll happen? Huh? Yes. Pull it. It's true, it's killing me too. How about you, Nick? Yeah, but for a different reason. Pull the lever. Pull that one and then pull that one, it'll fix it, you right? Right? Wow, take a look at these things here. Hey, hey Larry, what are they? Hmm. Did you say, hmm? Hey man, it's not like I have to know what they are to do my job. I, I always thought they were just some kind of decoration or something. Oh boy. How did this guy ever get a job here anyway? No screens there show what's going on all over the building. Everywhere. Everywhere. And it's my job to keep a steady eye on them. All of them. I wouldn't sound so smug if I were you. Can you watch regular TVs on these two? Or maybe play some games? Old school games? If anyone would sit here and watch TV instead of working. It's Larry. Hey, Maya, I'm a pro, okay? Besides, you can't get regular TV on it. And how do you know that, Larry? Because that was my first bit of investigation. If you know what I mean. I know what you're thinking. It was a professional investigation, alright? How I just banged my ankle on my chair. <laughs> oh. That's my workstation. Pretty cool, huh? Right on the Achilles. I keep a steady eye on the monitors and use that mic for communicating. 
Look at this equipment. It must be hard to operate. Oh, the pain's the pain's going away now. Well, the immediate pain. You know, you know when you like you bang your toe or your funny bone or your your Achilles, like that immediate sharp pain. Ooh, ooh, is that in there? When that starts to dissipate, it feels so nice. So everything feels normal again. Like ah, oh. oh, no biggie. I think there's an instruction manual somewhere in this room. Somewhere? Instruction manual? What are you going to do in an emergency? Well, I guess I'll start by calmly looking for the instruction manual. During that time, my partner, the old lady, would calmly look for her reading glasses. That's what us security professionals call teamwork. Even Myron Pearls could run this place better. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Hey, how did you- what? But that's not how this works. And that's my partner, C. Your partner. Well, uh, that's what I call her. She's my superior, actually. Kind of a weird old lady. Um, there's tea spilled all over that machine, you know. Oh, don't worry about it. Just the other day, I spilled some chocolate milk on mine. It still works fine, more or less. But they really know how to build them, I guess. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I think that's it in terms of what we can see. Alright, laddie! Good info. So what's this good info you were talking about, Larry? Hey, I'm a god, a bro! I can't just give away information for free! He wants a bribe. But professionals were more, I don't know. Honest? Can you talk to him, Maya? Larry? Tell us already. What's the good info? Hey, I like that. This kitten has got some claws. Okay, you really want to know? Yes, yes, so tell me. Okay, so the thing is, Ron Delight was an employee here. And naturally, since I'm a pro, I looked into his background. Follow me? On Twitter. At the Twit Gamer. Yes, you're a pro. I follow you. Go on. Well, one year ago, Ron Delight was fired. And there was no warning at all. Just happened all of a sudden. I know this is a small company, but I think that was pretty awful. I guess he must have done something bad to have gotten fired like that. Like maybe skipping out of work to go pick up hot chicks or something? No, that's just you. Hmm. Hmm. So what's it like to be a part-time security guard? Let me tell you, it's tough. Well, you know me, I get by alright, I guess. First, I have to keep my eye on those monitors all the time. Monitors? There are security cameras set in each room around the building. It's really hard. Sometimes I feel like my eyes are gonna fall out. Oh. And if I see something suspicious, I have to contact one of my teams. What? Teams? The security teams for this company. And they're supposedly the best in the business. But I have no amateur either. So if it's something small, I don't bother calling them. It's in other words, you basically watch TV screens all day long. Eh, someone's got to do it. The night of the crime. You were in this office when the murder took place, weren't you? Why do you say that? This is just a part-time job for me. I can't operate the equipment, and I'm dumb. Even if it is part-time and you are dumb, you're still in charge of security here. Hey, give me a break. Don't try to pin the whole thing on me. It's not fair, Nick. Huh? I don't think you can expect someone like him to take any responsibility. Anyway, the point is you were here that night, right? You weren't. Where were you? Two. Oh no, I knew something smelled bad, and it was the butts after all. And it's like I always say, well, that was then and this is now, okay? Looks like I'm going to have to break his sight locks after all. Oh dear. Can I do that already though? The night of the crime? On the night of the crime, were you working hard like you were supposed to? What? Huh? Oh, of course I was. <laughs> Why wouldn't wouldn't I have been? But didn't you sneak out of work just yesterday to go see Mr. Light? Ah, 
Mm, uh, that was that. Uh, this is this. Is there any chance that you snuck out of work last night too? Never. I didn't sneak out, I tell you what. I'll even bet you a dollar. A dollar? Wow. Now that's confidence. What's with that drenched in the rain poppy look on your face? You have evidence that I left my position or are you just pulling my chain? The evidence that Larry was not manning his station when the murder happened. Well, he said he found the wallet. Didn't he? When did he find it? When... When did he find it? Oh, he found the wallet, right? But I can't remember when he said he found it. I mean... He's like, if I just read the screen... Found in the KB security building at around 1am. So if it was found in the building... That's when he found it. This wallet. You know about this, right? I've never seen it before. Liar. You hand-delivered this wallet to Mr. Light just yesterday. Give me a break. You can't expect me to remember every little thing that happens. I do expect you to remember something that happens just yesterday. What time was it when you found this wallet? I guess it was around 1 in the morning on the first floor of our company building. 1 o'clock in the morning. That's right. In other words, Larry. At the time of the murder, you were away from the security guard office. Uh, that's one. Yeah, but, 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 but there's something you didn't think about. What's that? My shift that day didn't start until 10 p.m. The murder might have snuck in before then. What do you mean by that? If the murderer had snuck in before 10, then it wasn't my fault. It was the fault of the guy whose shift was before mine. Why do I have the feeling that he still doesn't get the seriousness of this? Listen up, Larry. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the killer snuck into the CEO's office after 10 p.m. during your shift. Yeah, the, the key card at that point. Take that! Larry, when you use this key card, does it leave a record? Yeah, it does! But I can't show you the record to just, to just anyone, you know? That key card data was already made public in the trial today. What? I didn't know that. Any kind of request for info like that is supposed to go through me. Boy, does that sound a bit arrogant coming from a part-time guard. Anyway, according to the data, the door to the CEO's office was opened with this card. Furthermore, it was most definitely used at 1am. The time of the murder. Away. Yes. Someone used this to get into the CEO's office. It happened at 1am on the night of the crime. Right in the middle of your shift. Oh... Larry, you can't dock your responsibility this time. Ah, uh, no! That was easy. The night of the crime. Oh, I knew it. It's all my fault. It's my fault that the boss was killed. My fault. Larry... There was nothing I could do. I have important issues to deal with too, man. What happened that night, anyway? Uh, my donna happened. Huh? Your donna? I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, my donna called and said I have to talk to you right away. So I went to see her and... He was standing right there next to her. Um, who was? Her new boyfriend. It was like some horrible joke. Before I knew what was going on, the guy socked me right in the kisser. Normally, I'm the one that does the punching. Isn't that right, Maya? It, 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 yeah. So is that why you left the security guard office? Uh, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. How can I forget it? How can I forget it? He's curled up on the floor. Crying like a baby. Oh boy. Nick! Is there anything I can do? Anything! Just name it! I'll do whatever I have to, to make up for it. I swear I will. Larry? Hey Nick, uh, it's not this he's offering. Why don't you show him the evidence we've got? 
He's right. Maybe we get at least one bit of useful information from him. Nick! Are you okay, mate? <laughs> it's like, jeez, all right, let's 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 show him. Let's start with the blackmailer. Um, so what about this? Huh. My, you shouldn't have. A love letter for me? Uh, no. Sorry. This is a blackmail letter. What? How do you know about that, Maya? Huh? How much is Alexis demanding this time? Huh? Who is this Alexis? Who is this Alexis? That's the question. Didn't we show him this letter yesterday, too? Pretty sure we did. Hmm. Ah, that's the wallet I found. You found it when you snuck out of work to get socked in the kisser, right? I didn't sneak out of work to get socked in the kisser. If only I'd been more responsible at work. I might have spotted the murderer on the monitor like I was supposed to. Larry, you really do feel bad, don't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he curled up into a ball. Yeah, well... Maybe it's all for the best. I think it's brought Desi and I closer together. Just like they say, every cloud has a silver lining. You gotta see that old water glass is half full. Am I right? Now he's starting to sound like the Larry I know. Don't forget, Nick. Half full. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Half full. So, was this the card that was used by the culprit that night? Well, going off the serial number, then yeah. This card was used to open the CEO's office door at one in the morning. Your client had this card, right? It's a no-brainer, he's the killer man. Um, listen carefully, okay, Nick? I know you don't think of me... Uh, m much of me as a person. But I'm no thief. And I would never wear a goofy get-up like that. Um, nobody ever accused you of being a thief. It's too much work for me. Making plans, writing calling cards, etc, etc. I'd rather just pull a dine and dash at a burger joint. You'd what? I can't do that, mate. Burgers? I love burgers too. Really? Well, how about it? Wanna go on a burger day tonight? At least pay for the food, because I'm not defending you again. Oh dear. Um, I think you know how much I want to help you guys, but I really don't know what to say about that. Yeah, I didn't think you'd say much. What is it, Nick? It's just that he seems so... I uh, no. Pleasant. Oh dear. Oh, not again. Um, the buzzer in the CEO's office is directly connected to this room, right? That's right. Just like my heart is connected to yours, Maya. Huh? Go ahead, Maya. Press the buzzer in your heart. I promise I'll come running to your rescue like the professional guard I am. Wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> Thanks. I try. Do you think you could tell us about the buzzer now? Yes, please. Please tell us. Okay, I guess so. Prepare to be wowed. Alright, so we got that coming up now. Um, I think you know how much I want to help you guys, but... Alright, yep, 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 okay, 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 okay. Alright. Fine. Right, so... Emergency buzzer! Um, I accidentally pressed the buzzer earlier. Yeah, I heard it. So that was you, huh? You're a security guard, aren't you? Why don't you come to the CEO's office? Well, this is the third floor of the basement. The CEO's office is on the first floor. I thought it would be a good idea to, um, adopt a wait-and-see approach? Plus, there's a police detective here, right? I just didn't think it was necessary. It's as if he's trying to win an award for the laziest person on the planet. Um, let's get back to talking about the night of the murder, okay? Is it true that the buzzer didn't go off that night? There must be a record, right? You must have had a look at it, right? Of course I did! And I couldn't possibly have made a mistake either. Do you think you could take just one more look at it for me? Pretty please? 
Oh, okay. I just can't say no to you, Maya. What do you think, Nick? He's probably right. I don't think even Larry could... What? What is it? What's wrong? I made a mistake. Huh? But how? Can't be. It's impossible. Okay, enough already. What about the records? At night. It went off just once. In the morning. At around 1am. 1am? That's when the murder happened. Really? Are you serious? That's terrible to copy. Was a record added to the court record. Oh. Oh. Right. So. Anything new here with you? No. Right, now can we go to like the security, uh, security detention center is what I'm thinking. Have we got anything new with you? No. Hmm. Alright, so... At me, Detective? October 13th, at me, Detective Agency. Oh, this place is literally crawling with cops. What did you expect? Now that they know he was actually masked to mask. This must be incredibly embarrassing for them, don't you think? Yeah, I guess they're trying to make up for it by tearing the place apart. Yeah, I just noticed. Gumshoe is nowhere to be seen. Oh well, yeah, because we know where he is. We just left the... Alright. Well, he is a homicide detective. He's probably working on the murder case. But wasn't he in charge of the master mask investigation all the way up until yesterday? Well, a murder case is a lot more exciting, isn't it? He'd say something like, There's nothing like a good murder case, pal. Points for the quality of the impression. Thank you. But I'm not sure Gumshoe has bloodlust, Maya. Well, he might do. He might do. I don't feel like we should investigate. We can't anyway. I was going to say, it doesn't feel like there'll be anything new here, because there's nothing new here. Simple as that. Right. October 13th, Lordly Taylor, Main Exhibition Hall. Treasures of Korean exhibit is all ruined now. Maya. I'm sorry, it's just so sad. This was our big chance for everyone to learn about spirit channeling. Maybe I can cheer her up somehow. Well, now that we've got the sacred urn back, maybe they can reopen it. Really? Sure. Maybe we can label it the urn of Master Mask's desires. That'll probably attract a lot of attention. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's brilliant, Nick! We could clean up and be filthy rich! Woohoo! Oh, that was surprisingly easy. Yeah. Again, don't think there's anything here. Just not feeling it. Basement. October 13th, Lordly Taylor. Basement warehouse. Oh! It's you, Mr. Wright. Mr. Andrews. What's she still hanging around down here for? Um, so, how's it going? Uh, what about the sacred urn? The urn? Oh, that. It's been taken care of already. What do you mean? Oh, that. Taken care of? Do you mean it's been found? Yes. It was brought in during the trial today. Well, really? You really are the greatest, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright had nothing to do with it. It was Master Mask's wife that found it. Well, anyway, I'm I'm so relieved. But, but, yeah, but we're going under the assumption that he's not Master Mask, it's just Ron's wife. Really. Still wondering about this down here with the paint, though. The paint is significant, it really is. It's like that's clearly not been bonked on someone's head. That's It's got a bit that he tried to pry it open or something. I don't know. The only thing I can think of is like, he came out, slipped on this. The paint was already there, but because he slipped, he dropped the box. And because it, he slipped and it, like, everything went off, went crazy. This flew out of the air. He walked over here, accidentally stepped on it. It bent, it, it hit him. He fell and dropped the box, which smashed the urn. He tried to fix the urn, but it was now covered in paint from the box that had been dropped over here. 
And that's it, that's the end of what I'm thinking there. It's like, um, hmm. A pathetic looking wooden box. Ah, that's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Don't touch it, there may be clues to the fuse identity on it. Uh, why is it so hard to make that box? Huh? You made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? What's that supposed to mean? I was so proud of it. <gasps> Snoopy! Oh, Maya. Maybe it'd been better if Master Mask had taken the box, too. Hmm. Let's. I don't think we're gonna get anything new there. The mask's identity. I just heard all about it on the news. So that detective was actually the thief all along. It looks that way right now. It's my fault. I'm the one who ended up hiring Damas to guard the treasure. Don't blame yourself. You're just doing your job. Hey, Nick. If she wants to apologize, you should let her. So, when was it that you hired Detective at me and again? Or about 20 days ago. When was it that Master Mass calling card arrived? That was about 10 days ago. Yeah, that's suspicious. So he sent a calling card to the very place he was hired to guard. Yes, that's it then. Detective Atme must have really wanted the sacred urn after all. I guess so. Hmm, the night of the crime. What? So Master Mask m murdered someone as well? Well, that's how things look right now. Yes, but I thought he was his stealing the urn at the time. Well, we're talking about a criminal mastermind, so anything is possible. Nick, let's get down to business already. On the night of the theft, did you notice anything suspicious about Detective Atme? No, I couldn't have. After all, he was hidden the entire time. I never even caught a glimpse of him. He claims that... That's the way he always operates. It's just what he says so he can have an alibi while he commits the thefts himself. Yeah, he was caught in the crime scene photo dressed up as Master Mass pretty well. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I'm so glad that you got your sacred urn back. Yes, but there's still something that bothers me about it. What is it? Not exactly sure. But somehow the urn that came back seems different. Really? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Miss Andrews? No, no, I wouldn't know anything. Why would I? Why? You broke it? How does that fit into everything if you broke it? Huh. He hmm. Just like trying to like put the pieces together, literally, <laughs> in my head. So maybe Master Mask, as Ron Master Mask, came in here, tried to get it, dropped it in the paint, which caused a lot of issues and it smashed. Because it smashed from his point of view, it was priceless. So he left it and, and scarpered. Adrian came down, found it, tried to pry it open with the blade, and fixed it? Kinda works. Kinda works. Uh... Psyclox? What do you think this means, Nick? It means the person that holds the secret to the mystery of the sacred urn is our very own Miss Andrews. Okay, let's try Magatar marrying it up. Because I'm, I'm thinking it's like the blade and stuff like that. That's what I'm thinking. The sacred urn. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the Sacred Urn? D do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. Yeah, and if the, like, main piece was smashed, that would look bad on you. Right? The urn that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. Well, that's, uh, 
That's, um, uh, true. Maybe it isn't the same. It could be... It could be a fake. A fake? You're the one who said it wasn't the same. So that's the most obvious explanation. Do you have any evidence that the urn that was submitted at the trial was genuine? Oh. Well, now you've said that. No? No, I don't. No, I don't. Do I? I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Huh. Alright then, let's see about moving on. Over to the detention center, finally, maybe? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? You can actually get to speak to Ron. 